Okay, here we go now. Um, here's one of my big conceptions that I get with students when they're adding fractions. They understand that the whole is broken up into four separate pieces, and they understand that my part is going to represent you know, the part that I'm selecting. So I have four total sections, and I'm selecting one of those out of there. And then they understand you can change how many parts you choose. So they get the concept of what a fraction looks like. But when it comes to adding, one of the bigger mistakes that I notice students do is they add the numerators, which is going to give me 3. But then what they also make the mistake is now they add the denominators, which gives me 3 over 8. Now, this answer is wrong. All right, And let me kind of show, explain why. If you guys remember, when I try, I was showing you how to add fractions, all you're doing is adding your parts on top of each other. So if I have now one part plus another two parts, now I'm going to select a total of three parts. However, the whole does not change as far as how much how you're slicing up the part. So it's still going to be in four equal sections. So if I have three parts now out of four, it's going to look something like this. What it's not going to look like is what some students do when they add. Uh, when students add the numerator and the denominator, what happens is now instead of cutting it into four slices, now you've broken up the same whole into eight separate parts. So you can see now I've broken my same whole into eight different sections. Well, if I was going to say three out of eight, That's going to be that big. And obviously, you can see that these two fractions are not going to be similar. So be very careful um, when you're adding, adding fractions. You want to make sure you only add the tops. Do not add the bottoms of your fractions. So let's just take another practice at this. If I wanted to add 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths, I'd make sure I'd add the 3 plus the 2. That's going to give me 5. And then the 7 is going to be my whole. So that's going to remain on the bottom. So therefore, 3 sevenths plus 2 sevenths equals 5 sevenths.